Hey y'all, Allie from Little Hill Homestead. Today I'm gonna to bring you guys something that I find completely necessary this time of year because I'm pretty sure that ants are sent from Satan himself. I hate them. I have not an irrational fear of them. I'm not scared of ants, but I hate them. Hate them, hate them, hate them. We recently went camping and ants invaded our van and it pretty much ruined my weekend. I became a little OCD trying to find every single one and squishing them. So since then I have tried to figure out a more natural ant spray that we could take with us in the van, but also works really well at home. And this is what I have come up with. So I have an enormously large squirt bottle. Uh, you could use any size squirt bottle you want. I'm going to multiply this recipe times a few times to fill my squirt bottle to take with us because we are going on another camping trip and I can't handle the ants again this time. Literally can't handle them. Um, so here is our recipe. You guys ready? We have apple cider vinegar. You need two cups. This one, um, I need to share this recipe with you guys. I think I'm going to start a new um, batch of it pretty soon. Apple scrap vinegar, which is basically apple cider vinegar. So if you see weird stuff floating in this, that is why, because it is homemade. You make it from literally scraps of apples, which when I make like uh, apple pie and can it, or if I make apple sauce, you have lots of scraps left. So it's kind of the perfect time to make it. So if you see weird stuff, there it goes. That's all that it is. It's the mother going, like if you buy Bragg's or any of the fancier brands with the mother, well, that's what the mother is. Well, isn't that perfect? I had two cups exact, two cups exactly. Okay. The next thing you need, I just did this out of order. Good job, Allie, is going to be two tablespoons of dish soap. Whatever dish soap you've got is totally just fine. And then the last thing you need is baking soda. Remember baking soda and vinegar have a chemical reaction. <laughs> I'm totally busted. Do you see my skirt? I didn't want you guys to know that I've done 16 videos in one day. So I threw a top over my dress. Busted. Now I just told you guys that I'm doing it anyways. So I'm going to gently kind of stir those together just a little bit. Okay. Now the last thing we're going to do, I'm going to pull out another bowl because I already screwed this one up, is you need two tablespoons of baking soda. So this is great because ants, one, hate the smell of vinegar. Two, it's great for covering up the pheromone tracks because you clean the area if there's any food or anything like that, but it covers up the pheromone tracks that ants leave, and so they don't come back. So spray this kind of anywhere you see them, spray it on the line, and they won't want to be there. You can mist it or you can just go hog wild like a fireman. I don't care. So what you're going to do is as slowly as you can, so you do not get a, too bad of a chemical reaction, you're going to dribble this in to the side of our container. Now, if you go slow, you shouldn't get like the lava volcano thing that you got when you were a kid and did a science project. All right, we're almost done. So I love this because you probably have the ingredients on hand. It's safe for your pets and your kids, which we have dogs, so that's important to us. And then see, we didn't have too bad of a chemical reaction because we poured it nice and slow. I'm saying that as, <laughs> as it's puffing up. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It'll go down anyways. Plus some of it's bubbles from our soap. So all you're going to do now is pour this into your squirt bottle of choice and you just spray it wherever you don't want ants. Like I said, they don't like the smell of vinegar at all. Most animals don't. They don't like um, the fact that you're covering their pheromone tracks because they don't know where to go. So it kind of discombobulates them, but it will make them not want to come back. So that is our DIY ant spray. My other two things, and this has worked for me a million times in the past. So I like, okay, let me tell you this. I grew up in an old house in California. And in California, for some reason, if you live in an old house, you get ants. It's just part of the deal. And they're not like cute little trails of ants. You get like billions. It's like you could leave an apple core on the counter and your entire kitchen will be black because of ants. It, it's a nightmare, which is why I think I have issues with it because it was like a childhood nightmare. Um, anyway, so the things that you can use also that are natural, that get rid of ants, they don't like them. They don't want to cross the tracks. They don't, they don't want to be around it cinnamon don't like it 
So sprinkle it like on your window seals or wherever they're coming in. Usually it seems like it's a crack in your tile grout or something. For us, it's one little tiny crack in our kitchen. They come in where like two walls meet and they drive me crazy. And the other thing, and I don't have any fresh ground, is ground coffee. They don't, again, it's a great, anything that kind of covers their smell. That's what you're looking for. You can make those with essential oils as well. I mean, there's all kinds that you can use. But when you're done with your ground coffee in the morning and it's still kind of wet, stick it in the areas that you're having issues with ants if you don't like the cinnamon or the spray or any of this other stuff. So those are the things that we recommend to have an ant-free house, or in our case, an ant-free van, because there's nothing like waking up in the middle of the night with like one single ant climbing all over you. Ah, okay, I guess I've told you guys my irrational fear at this point. So go make yourself some ant spray. And the other big, big thing is ants are looking for food and water. I mean, it's hot outside and that's what they're looking for. So keep your counters cleaned off. Give them a wipe down after you cook, especially if you have kids that leave maybe food around the house and stuff like that. Give your house a quick vacuum. If there's not sources, of things for them to want to eat, they will tend not to come into your home. Ta-da! There you go. So you hate me because I just called your house dirty. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I get them too, and I'm an OCD about my house. So there you go. There's your homemade spray. A couple little suggestions, and I hope you guys give it a try. If you have other ant, I know cornmeal is another one that we used to do when we were kids. But if you guys have any um, DIY ant or bug things that help comment below because I'm amazed at how many of you guys post comments below and then other subscribers or other people watching our videos go give you guys even more ideas or use the ideas that you have to use in their own home. Anyways, if you're new to our channel, thanks for watching. If you've been here forever, you guys know we love you and um, I need to come up with a name for you. I think I did in another video, but I already forgot what it was. So, <laughs> Little homies? No, 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 no. Oh, Little Hill Homestead. Little homies. No, I'm not going to do that to you guys. <laughs> it's not the 90s anymore. Okay, seven minutes of nonsense. Go make some ant spray. Have a great rest of your day, guys.